all of you sisters and brothers and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the diocesan shrine of jesus the divine word in christ the king mission seminary quezon city today is tuesday of the fifth week of easter our mass presider is reverend father ronald ray s partinez associate vice rector of the shrine our celebration and devotion to Padre Pio will now begin. Please rise. Jesus is risen, praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness, life has vanquished death. Through his death and resurrection, Christ has saved us all. We too shall rise in glory if we believe in him. Jesus is risen. Praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness. Life has vanquished death. Members all of God's own household, citizens of heaven. We are no longer strangers, children of God instead. Jesus is risen, praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness, life has vanquished them. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, please be reassured by the words of Jesus in today's Gospel. Do, do not let your hearts be troubled or stay afraid. For He shares Himself as the peace. We ask the Lord this Holy Mass to rule our heart and mind with peace that is peace we live in our mind and heart and for us to worthily offer ourselves in the celebration let us first recall our sins and ask God for his pardon and mercy You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Anconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. And the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derbe. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in faith, saying, 
It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church and, with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom of all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and my all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, though I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away, and I will come back to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Hello, everyone, those inside the shrine and those in the online. How are you? It has been raining all day here in Quezon City, in our place. And I think this is the sign that the westerly season is coming, yung habagat. Sending you love and peace that comes from Christ. Mga kapatid, yan po ang paalala sa inyo, Nesos, ngayon, just in case ang mga puso ninyo at isip ay nababagabag. 
according to him, do not let your heart be troubled or afraid. But why? Why not be troubled, Father, when I have ma many more reasons to be troubled? Yes, totoo naman talaga, kanya-kanya, may dahilan tayo to be more troubled nowadays. And this can be caused by people around us, by the latest events. They can push the button that we can be troubled. Pero alam niyo mga please listen. If you have millions of reasons to be troubled, you have greater, higher, and noble reason to be at peace. Why? Because it's the peace that comes from Jesus himself. Sabi niya, I will leave you peace and this peace comes from me. Naala ko tuloy yung kanta ng hill song, yung Be Still. Ang nagsulat pala nito ay si Reuben Morgan. Tinanong ko sa, sa dictionary, ano ba ang still? When you are still, meaning you are in deep silence and in deep calm. Sabi doon sa lyrics, part lang ito ah, naka-online kasi tayo, bawal magbasa ng lyrics. Sabi doon, when the oceans rise and thunder roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are the king above the flood. I will be still, knowing you, you are my God. Because, ibig sabihin nito, yung dagat kasi, pag may storm, the storm means chaos. Chaos means, in the Bible, no presence of God. So sabi niya, I will be still above the storm because God alone can give peace and calmness to our, to our soul. So friends, please be still because it's Jesus Himself's presence, the one who will give you peace. May you have deep silence in your heart. Kaya nga, when you say troublesome thoughts and emotion, meaning noisy. So if you are noisy inside, you need silence. So take time to pause. Please choose to pause your mind and heart sometimes. Pero it's good to be aware what are the things that can really trouble us. Allow me to identify yourself to you three root causes, possibilities, and causes that can give your life trouble. First, if you continue to live in the past, that's one sure thing to give you trouble. If you continue to choose to live in the past, yung manangyari 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, pilit mong ibinabalik, you keep replaying it, holding to it, especially the bitterness, walang closure, naala ko tuloy one time, I facilitated a funeral. Your, their mother died. I never thought 30 years na nagkita kita yung mga magkapatid. Imagine 30 years. Tapos magkita-kita after many years sa uh, funeral, funeral. Of course, wala pala silang closure 30 years ago. So nag-away-away sila doon sa funeraria. Nandun pa naman ako. Masyado akong na-tense. So, kasi if you keep on living in the past, you cannot move on. So if one still live in the past, you'll just be bringing all the pains and hurts and it will give your heart plenty of trouble. Pero what, what nobody said that it's easy to let go. Wala man nagsabi, di ba? Nobody said that it would be easy to forget. Nobody said that it would be easy to forgive or to be healed. But with God's grace, I think it's possible kahit dahan-dahan for the sake of peace. Please just continue living the past. Pangalawa naman, one root cause that can give us trouble, if you continue to choose to live in the future, what does, especially when you imagine bad things that will happen, and if you continue to choose to look at the negative side, or when you imagine and anticipate that your future will be gloomy and dark, and if you if you anticipate that you will just only fail, naku is on. Then you're living in the future. You know the answer to this problem. Well, study the situation accurately. That's what I learned to our professor. Gawa kayo ng sorry. I will use the term technical term. Ah, mag feasibility study kayo. You look at the possibility. 
look at the data, malay mo mali naman yung conclusion ng isip ninyo. Kaya malaga talaga ang facts and data. At pangatlo, is increase your trust level. And third, alam nyo ba the last thing that can really give us a lot of trouble when you are not patient. So patient. Kasi if you're not patient, first you will feel angry. Next you will feel outburst. Naala ko tuloy yung the first time I rode sa aeroplano ng 2006. First time na nga, yung, jet, yung aeroplano pa ay sira daw. At walang mahanap na kapalit. In short, pinapili kami magbus, maghotel, overnight. Ah, syempre naman, pinili ko yung maghotel. Pagbaba na kami doon sa reception, but some people chose the other side. Naku, nagsisigawan doon sa reception. Mga sampu siguro. Sinisigawan nila yung receptionist, kawawa naman. Everybody was really yelling, yelling, yelling. Kung pwede lang siguro barilin nila yung babae, yelling. Meaning, the, the lack of patience. Kaya mga kapatid, just in case you are frustrated, disappointed this time, please listen to this beautiful lyrics ng kanta, Maghintay ka lamang. Kung hindi ngayon ang panahon na para sa iyo, huwag maiinip dahil ganyan ang buhay sa mundo. Huwag mawawala ng pag-asa, darating din ang ligaya. Ang isipin mo'y may bukas pa na mayroong saya. So hindi pa naman, relax lang. Things will, better days are ahead. So that's all. I hope those simple things will help you go, go forward in your journey. Because that's what Jesus wants us to to do. Always remember, God is in control. Do not panic. Again, Jesus said, Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Sabi niya pa, You heard me? Yes, we heard him. God bless everyone. With confidence, our risen Lord's greatest gift to us is the peace which the world cannot give. In His name, let us ask the Father for all our needs. For your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may strive to bring people everywhere in mutual understanding, cooperation, and peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That peoples of all nations may work for justice and peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are troubled, afraid, and anxious may find true peace and happiness. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That peace and love may reign in our homes and workplaces. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the medical experts, scientists, and researchers, that they may be able to continue to develop more effective and affordable vaccines for everyone, so that everyone may be protected against contracting the virus, while those who are already infected will be healed and there will be no more further transmissions. We pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the dead may enjoy eternal peace. We pray. Lord, hear, Lord, our, hear our, prayer. our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our special intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. Lord God, grant us the peace we need. Help us to make peace with ourselves, with our neighbors, and most especially with our enemies. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right or just, our duty and our salvation. Always, at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Onesto Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on, on earth, earth as, as it is, is in, in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our, our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace to everyone. Those in the online, Facebook and YouTube channels. Peace be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us Friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the, the source of our peace, and the peace that comes from Him comes from, from the Father. So when we receive Jesus, we receive also the peace that comes from the Father, the source of our life. Behold Him, for He takes away the sins of the world, 
and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. stand let us pray look with kindness upon your people O Lord and grant we pray that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord Amen Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. 
O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calusod. Pray for us. Saint Arnold Janssen and Saint Joseph Reynadimitz. Pray for us. Mustayo po tayo right after the Mass. Susunod po yung devotion to Padre Pio. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Saint Pius' prayer. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present, so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak, and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, as poor as my soul is. I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close and life passes. Death, judgment, and eternity approach. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life and with all its dangers. I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation, because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence. Oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and I ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Act of Entrustment to St. Pio O glorious St. Pio of Pietrelcina, the saint of this new millennium, you are our friend, consoler of our soul, help of us sinners. You understand us so well, for you know what it means to suffer. To you we entrust our well-being and that of our loved ones. To you we entrust our spirit that we may be able to endure the pains we carry in our heart. To you we entrust the request of presenting our souls to the Virgin of Grace to obtain eternal salvation from the Lord. To you we entrust our plea of intercession 
to obtain from the divine goodness the grace which we so ardently desire. Welcome us under your protection. Defend us from the snares of evil. And above all, intercede for us before the Most High, so that through the forgiveness of sins, we may persevere in doing good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.